Hello everyone, welcome back for our, our weekly meditation videos. Um, we are going through the 59 mind training slogans of Atisha and we're somewhere in the middle at this point with the second, a 20 second slogan which is, if you can practice even when distracted, you are well trained. And I've always loved this one. And you know, it's sort of funny because I live in New York City, I often reference it when you know, all of a sudden there's like crazy street sounds and things like that and it's sort of like, well, this is what we're practicing for. Our everyday life is right outside the walls here and you know, it's coming for us. So there are many, many distractions in our life. It could be street sounds when we're trying to meditate. It could be um, a sudden illness of a family member. It could be job loss. It could be a new love affair. All sorts of things that could happen in our life and all of a sudden we're pulled away from the present moment and lost in our own head and a lot of storyline. So these various distractions are going to continue to happen in our life. And even when we sit down on the meditation cushion, we notice that we get distracted. This doesn't mean we're doing meditation wrong if we get distracted. I guess my what I want to put out there is that there's the view here that we don't necessarily have to pledge our mental allegiance to all of the thoughts and distractions that come up. That's not who we are. That's not what makes up our life. It's actually the through line of our life is our own sanity, our own wakefulness, our own peaceful abiding core. So the question becomes, can we actually pledge our mental allegiance to that instead of these distractions? In some sense, what we're saying here is that instead of like waging some sort of internal battle with our distractions, we're just saying, no, 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 this is just part of what's going on. This is the fabric or uh, the backdrop of what's going on, but it's not all of who I am. So we co-opt these distractions almost as support for our practice. These are great reminders that we can come back to our meditation practice in the present moment. Whatever distraction arises, we just acknowledge it. Not a big deal. We come right back to whatever we're doing. In meditation practice, it's obviously the breath. But if we are spacing out and getting lost in some anxiety-producing fantasy while we're eating, then we just come back to tasting our food. When we are um, getting really lost in a fight with our spouse and we want to just be right all the time and we're just fo forcing our opinion on them, we can just drop that and come back to being with them as a human being. Just being there and hearing them. So whatever is right in front of us, we can come back to it. Well, there is going to be pleasurable circumstances, there's going to be painful circumstances, and as Chogun Trungpa Rinpoche says in his book, Training the Mind and Cultivating Loving Kindness, we don't become their slave. They don't own us. They aren't who we are. Instead, who we are is inherently peaceful and inherently awake. So when we do this, when we start pledging our mental allegiance to our sanity as opposed to all the various types of thoughts and distractions, we actually, our practice becomes second nature to us. We can continue to come back to all the various mind training slogans that we've been studying or whatever other sorts of t teachings, the Buddhist teachings that you've been studying as a touch point for being more present with our life. And when we do that, as Trala Grimpeche says, he said, quote, nothing is insignificant, unquote. We can always come back to the present moment. Whatever is right in front of us, it might seem ordinary. Our lunch might seem extremely ordinary, but then we make it extraordinary. We make it extraordinary by bringing in a little extra bit of being present. So when we do that, we actually live a life of meaning and it feels very full. So uh, the challenge aspect for this particular week, as there's always a meditation challenge, is that we would actually just have a consistent practice to fortify our ability to be present. So we're going to communally commit to sitting at least 10 minutes a day, perhaps more for you, um, every single day for the next seven days until the next video comes out. I uh, hope you can join me in that, and I look forward to hearing how it goes. Cheers.